Well, y'all, the NBA is back, and we have an incredible slate of games tonight. So why don't we just take a look? Ben Simmons will make his Nets debut. That's exciting. Jamal Murray returns for the Nuggets. I'm really thrilled about that one. And plus, the claw, Ka Kawhi Leonard, is back for the Clippers. And the Lakers are also running it back with their big three, this time, though, under Darvin Ham. But, but let's start with the Nets because we always have to these days. Tonight at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, Ben Simmons gets a crack at his former squad. So get your pop. Corn ready. Starting with you, Ramona, uh, what are you expecting from Ben Simmons in this one as it will be our first look at him in real live game action for the Nets? Well, this game is in Brooklyn, so that's a good start, okay? If it was in Philly, I'd be a little bit more concerned. But uh, check this. As of right now, the expectation is Ben Simmons is going to play. That's a big deal. He hasn't played in a year. And, you know, I was glad he did that podcast with our colleague, J.J. Redick. It's the first time we heard him really go into depth about the mental health issues that he's had, but also go into depth about the back issues that he dealt with last year and had back surgery on. He's been fully healthy. Uh, this will be the, the, home, the home team's first look at him in a Nets uniform. I don't expect many of the Sixers regulars to play. They just got back from South Carolina. They actually didn't even go back to Philly in between. They just went from South Carolina to Brooklyn so probably no Joel Embiid no uh, you're just going to see like Tyrese Maxey maybe Tobias but uh, none of the, the the real Sixers regulars are going to be out there but still that's Sixers Ben Simmons against his former team I think this is a good step in the direction of him being able to play this NBA season consistently and Mark if Ben Simmons were to play and he is able to be a key figure for them this entire season what does that make for the Nets Oh, they're, they're special. I mean, like, all oh, this Ben hate. I know, oh, three-pointer can't make it. He's an all-star. He's a special player. And in this team, he, he doesn't have to, like, shoot all the time. Yeah. He could rebound, defend. He's one of the league's best defenders. Versatile, could play some point forward. I'm really, really excited for him and what he could bring and um, to get over what happened last season. Hopefully people will realize that his mental health issue was not a joke. But there is some good, I think, coming out of tonight as well, is that while, hey, the game in Philly is going to be crazy for him, tough for him, at least he could get the awkwardness out of the way of seeing the Sixers people. Mm -hmm. Maybe he could shake some hands, talk to somebody. They don't have to love each other, but, hey, at least he could see them and get that awkwardness out of the way. So when he does see the Sixers for the second time, at least in terms of playing the Sixers, it could be about basketball and not as much about the sore feelings one might have. Yeah, it will be about basketball when he's playing, and I like this idea of saying he's a point center because the Nets will need him as a point guard defensively, anchoring the interior, sort of that Draymond Green vocal role where he yep. gets his confidence, but probably center offensively, right? Someone brings the ball up, he gets a rebound, brings the ball up, sets screens, Scary goes center. down to the rim. Yeah. So I think it's point center, but like for different sides of the basketball. And on the flip side, Ben Simmons, his former squad, the Sixers, as you mentioned, Mark, they have very high expectations yet again. James Harden, Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris. Can they figure it all out this season, Mark? What do you expect from Doc Rivers' squad and what it feels like a make-or-break season for them? Well, I think Doc Rivers is a, a, a perfect coach for that big four. You know, when he was in Boston, he got three guys that everybody knows well, KG, Paul, Ray Allen. They all came together and won a championship quickly. And they also all had lower scoring averages than they had normally. And if I'm Doc, I'm bringing, whether it's Ray, Paul, KG, may, maybe all three of them come to camp, talk to their big four, show them how, hey, you don't, Joe, you don't have to score 30 anymore. James, you don't have to. You know, Maxie is taking a big step. So, I mean, save your energy for the playoffs, blow teams out. And, and I think if collectively these four guys can get on the same page offensively, uh, they're, they're a championship caliber team. This is probably the deepest team that they've had in Philly, especially surrounding Joel Embiid and his talent since he's been there. And, I, you know, I, I hear things out of out of South Carolina and how they have looked in that training camp that they had. Mark, you know, we, we you, you've covered the Celtics when Doc was the coach there. And, you know, Doc, and I covered him here in L.A. Usually when they have yeah. a training camp and they go away someplace, there's obviously a, yeah. a great golf course where uh, they go for training camp. Doc didn't bring his golf clubs this time. It was all basketball, okay. okay? This was a, an incredible team-building experience from what everybody I've talked to who was a part of the Sixers and was, was there. And they went on. They, they studied the history of Charleston. They, they did a lot of team bonding there. 
Um, and DeAnthony Melton has been the guy that, that that is the name that's jumping off the page. P.J. Tucker, DeAnthony Melton, that's going to give them a very different look, most defensively, uh, as they go into this season. I agree. Mark, did and, you have a final thought? Yeah, yeah, Shanae, real quick. Um, <laughs> this is the same page Doc had and yeah. learned uh, when he won that championship because that Celtics team, they went to Italy, yep. they went to London, and it was there that they were able to quickly bond, and it helped them a lot during the season. I remember Ray saying in, in March that he looked back at that as something that helped bring the team together. And I think this South Carolina trip could have the same effect on the Sixers. We have a guest that's going to join us tomorrow, that being, y'all, Doc Rivers. So make yep. sure you tune into oh, okay. NBA Today uh, tomorrow. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.